Coming to you live from the blizzard, and I'm not talking Dairy Queen. Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one's going up on a Friday. So hope you had a good week. We're going to have a big weekend, including a live stream later on tonight. It will be a marathon all-nighter. You can join up. Just make sure to sub. Hit the notification bell. It'll let you know as soon as the live stream begins. I also want to give a massive shout-out to everybody who's a member in the Trippy Club. We are going to debut a brand-new Trippy Emoji later on in the stream. Look at that. The Wild Moose. Western three-star bull moose. That thing is a beast. So today we're not too far away from Coulter, which is the beginning of the Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. We're going to look at a hidden ice trail. I think it was deleted content, but it was probably meant to be a bigger part of the game. Now it all starts off at an avalanche. It's going to lead us to an ice lake. So I have that and a lot more to show you in today's episode. Do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. So right now we're not too far away from Lake Isabella. But we're going to have to go right outside the map. Just past this cabin to find the avalanche right here. That's the start of the trail. I'll meet you guys there. So here we are. What looks to be a massive avalanche. Now on the map, right here is a cabin. It was also destroyed by an avalanche. You can see that it should be connecting right there. I'll show you exactly where the trail should go. But this is the start. Beginning at the avalanche, it's going to take us to a frozen lake. Let's get a closer look with the trees knocked down. So I believe this was meant to be an event. You know, maybe early on in the game with Arthur, John Morstan. They have an avalanche coming down. They get separated. Perhaps Rockstar is holding off on that technology until an eventual Red Dead Redemption 3. I look for, you know, maybe hurricanes, massive storms, avalanches, and all that. So right here, it should connect to the map. But there's rocks, trees in the way. You can even kind of see a trail there. So it all starts right here, but if you keep following it, it's an obvious trail. Wait till you see the locations that it takes us to. This almost reminds me of 1080, or an SSX game. I wish we could snowboard in Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're going to follow this creek, past the animals just kind of standing there. You can see how it keeps on continuing through, even connecting to the glacier. Now one mission early on in the game is where you have to save John Marston from a pack of wolves. The game kind of spawns you outside on a different trail. Perhaps this was all meant to be connected when the game was first in development. Look at the size of that thing. Now coming up is a completely glitched out rock. You may have seen this before. I've shown off some of this stuff here at the channel. But it's amazing how it is one solid trail. All leading to a rock that kind of blinks plaid, black. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the third meteorite. Maybe some sort of alien rock that the UFOs are trying to get to. But either way, it's a really scenic location. You can see outside the edge of a cliff. And when you jump on the rock, it changes colors. By the way, you do have to use a different method if you want to get here in online. I'll put a link in the description to a video explaining it. You basically have to take a longer route crossing the San Luis River with your horse. Then you go all the way around here and then make it up to the path. You can see the multicolor rock, the frozen lake, all that in online with your posse. It should take a little bit longer. At least you have your horse though. So right here is where you can find the rock. We will continue up the path to make it to the glacier. So just past the rock to the north, look to the right, and you'll find a shiny, ice-like wall. So that is the edge of the glacier. You have a fork in the road. You can go up in the glacier, or you can keep going to the frozen lake. Now we're going to wait to the morning time to see the lake, but the glacier is huge. There's a lot to explore. Let's go ahead and climb up. Look at our shadow here in the moonlight. That's pretty cool. So make sure to be careful. There are many locations you can fall down. Of course, if you die, you have to start the process all over again. And it's very easy to get lost. Now, you can go pretty far back in that direction. It eventually leads to the same location where you do find John. So it's a little bit of part of the story mode. But you could tell, it could have been so much more. I really do feel like it was meant to be part of the map. A location we could re-explore. But now, we have to get here by going a long ways. Rockstar put so much attention to detail in the area despite the fact that we're not even supposed to make it back. The glaciers make a realistic sound effect. It's some sort of groan. You can hear it if you get close to one of the caves. I'll put a link to a video where we showed it off. At first I didn't even know what it was, but apparently glaciers make a groaning sound effect. I didn't know that until playing Red Dead Redemption 2. The sun's coming out. I'm going to try to escape the glacier and head towards the frozen lake. This area is very treacherous, but we made it. There's the glacier in the background. Now we're going to head towards the lake. Now it's a little bit further west. 
It is so mind-blowing that this entire area was meant to be in the game. It looks so good, almost like they can add it with some sort of an expansion pack. Watch out, John. Don't fall, we made it this far. Now the lake is a little bit more trippy. There's something about it that is definitely not too complete. Let's check it out. Here comes the snowstorm again, taking away some of the visibility. So you'll see how the trail is gonna kinda curve, heading west further into the mountains. It's gonna be a little bit harder to follow, but you can see the grooves in the snow. Keep going up, and then finally, you will see the lake. As we slingshot, it should be pretty close. I walked a little bit further just to make sure it was there, so we'll follow our trail. It should be just past this tree. And you could tell this was supposed to be, you know, maybe like a fishing hole, a location that we could have stayed at during the story mode. But here it is, a frozen lake. It looks extremely cool at first, but upon further examination, something's not quite right. You can see how the trees are in the lake. Now I'm here in Florida, so I haven't seen too many frozen lakes in my day, but I'm pretty sure that you don't have tall alpine trees right in the middle. What is going on right here? Okay, so it's not finished, but can we go swimming? We all know that John Morstan cannot swim. Maybe a frozen lake, perhaps he can ice skate? Well, instead, he's gonna go right in to the bottom of the lake. We could have all came here in our line, but clearly Rockstar did not finish it. It could have been an entire ice lake frozen even further past the point of Lake Isabella. But then if you jump on the ice, it's some sort of unfinished texture, you go right in. Rockstar could have finished it, it could have been a hangout with our posse, and the map could have been even bigger than it already is. But Rockstar probably figured out, hey, the Red Dead Redemption 2 map is massive. Perhaps we can maybe come here in a future Red Dead Redemption 3. They can make it even bigger. Now, it's not just one frozen lake. There's even another one right next to it. Wow, that's a good-sized lake. So the first one is right here. Wish we could do some ice skating, maybe play some hockey. And then here's a smaller ice lake right next to it. And keep in mind, with the path starting at that avalanche, we'll finish off the episode at that cabin. I can show you the destruction that the avalanche made. It's interesting how it starts off right there at the avalanche, passes the glacier, and goes all the way to this hidden ice lake, which is pretty far out of the way. There you have it, one last view of the giant ice lake, you gotta admit. It is one of the more trippy secret locations in the game. Most people who play Red Dead Redemption 2 will never see the ice lake, which is far past the boundary, past the glacier. So one more thing about the cabin that was destroyed by the avalanche, you can actually find a cheat code here. You flourish before you die. Rest in peace cabin. It was destroyed by the avalanche that never was. The only thing left is the cheat code and the stove. And of course you got what should have been the entrance to the trail right here. Rockstar closed it off. It could have been epic. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps out. Of course with this one going up on a Friday, have a good weekend. We're going to have a big live stream later on tonight. Hit the noti bell. It'll let you know as soon as we go live. It'll be a marathon all-nighter. Hopefully we'll see you there. Until next time, we have another Red Dead Redemption 2 video in the works, so watch out for that. Adios muchachos, and as always, stay trippy, my friends. Okay. We will melt the path. Y'all come back now, you hear?